So we're going to continue now with the installation of Somatic PDM. Uh, in this case, we're looking at uh, PDM version 9.1. So if you've got the CDs, um, you can insert, insert CD1. Um, that will be the first one we're going to look at. And CD2 is the device library. What I would say, the device library takes a long time to install off the CD. So if you can get the digital version of these packages, um, then I would recommend it. So you can see on my desktop, I've put two folders, CD1, CD2. And if you have a look inside, you get a, a self-extracting file. So this one, CD1, that's the, the PDM program. And then CD2 is the device library. Okay? And that's what I'm going to show you how to extract. So if you click on the device library, don't worry about the other files for now. It will start the self-extracting program. So just be careful here because this is where we can get a bit uh, trigger happy with the, with the mouse button because we need to make a mental note of where we're going to extract this to. Right. And the best place, let's say, is you create a folder on your desktop called CD2, and we'll we'll put it in that folder because you're going to need to reference that folder at a later date. So if we click next, it will start extracting these um, files. Now, what I would say at this stage is this um, bar here that gives you the progress um, is no relationship on on the actual progress of, of the self-extracting uh, files. Um, what I mean is it will go to the end and it looks like it's finished and you'll think that it's locked up, but it's still carrying on so just let it go all the way to the end be patient until it says finished um, it's a lot quicker doing it this way than, than, than using the CD so if we have actually have a look inside the CD 2 file you can see now look it's extracting these these files and that's a, a way to, to check on the progress so if you keep going back to this and, and you'll you'll see uh, things happening so we're going to leave that extracting and this would be a good time to go and get your first cup of coffee. So there you go. Uh, the extraction is now finished. This is the screen that you need to wait for. Of course, the faster your PC, the faster this screen pops up. And if I click on finish, I can open the extraction. I can see here is my library. So I have my FDI devices. As I said in previous, there's not many, but it's FDI ready. Um, and then the main catalog here, you'll see all of the different products for Heart and Profibus, etc. etc. So, so it's a pretty big catalog. So that's CD2. Uh, we'll come on to that one on the next video. So we're going to focus on CD1. When it's extracted, we're looking for the setup application here. So let's start running this. So we're installing version 9.1 update 4. And of course, I can only just manage English, but I do want it to be in English. And because this is a brand new PC, this is the first issue I've got. I need to have this installed on my PC. So this is a standard Windows program. Okay. Um, I've come across this a couple of times uh, on other PCs. So let's copy that and cancel. So we'll use Google Chrome to find that. Okay, so 
I, I would recommend if you're downloading anything like this purely to, to go onto the, the Microsoft page rather than anywhere else. Um, so we've now installed that Microsoft program so we'll try running the install again. So hopefully we'll get past that stage now. Okay, you can read the inst install instructions if you want, but hopefully this video will help. I accept the license agreement, so this means that the licenses, you're not going to start copying them and, and distributing them about. Just do an install, not an update, and under here. Now, this is the bit where people make the first mistakes. So, what it's ticked is what it needs to install. Okay. Um, the uh, Step 7 OEM is a stripped down version of Step 7. If you've already got Step 7 installed, it will untick that. Um, but because we're doing standalone, there's nothing else on this PC, so, or it might be a TIA portal PC, so which we haven't got Step 7 on. It will install that. The heart server is down here so you can see the options and, and, and all of these other options here um, we're not going to be using. So really it's the top three. Um, we'll do videos, future blogs that talk about the server and the logon options but to do standalone functionality for the standalone and basic license it's just the top three options we need. Okay, so this is where um, it needs to uh, grant itself admin rights and it needs to have access to, to certain folders. So if you have got a, a PC with admin rights, this will allow, once you've installed it, PDM to carry on functioning. So we need to accept that. Next, and then we can see a summary of the products that we need to install and it thinks that it's going to install that in six minutes we'll see so is the first of the sub programs the automation license manager this is a common uh, license manager tool for not just for PDM TIA portal WinCC um, and somatic classic all those type of programs use the same automation automation license manager. Uh, here's the components. So it's installing all the device drivers, and then it's going to proceed to the next two steps. So now we're entering the the last section, which is installing the PDM. So the nice thing about this, you'll see it pop up in a minute. Um, it installs all of your your Modbus drivers, etc., on older versions of PDM, like version 6.1. We'd have to install the the whole device library because we weren't sure where the Modbus drivers were and the Heart drivers. So. This is a small bit of the library with the profile specifics uh, 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 EDDs, get there in the end, sorry, for, for Profibus, and you'll see things like the compact field unit and some IO. And then we have the, um, the basic art uh, foundation field bus library. So when these go to green ticks, it's when it's installing it. So we are on the last part of the install now. So there we go. The, the installation is finished and I would always recommend doing a restart after such a big program is installed. So 
Once you've restarted your PC, if you want to, you can delete that CD1 folder. We don't need that anymore. And hopefully you can see here on your desktop the, the free programs that PDM has installed. So Device Integration Manager, well, we're going to cover that on the next video. PDM, uh, which we've already covered on previous videos, but I'll, I'll provide a link to, to how you set up uh, Heart programs and Modbus programs at the end of this video. Uh, video and then the automation license which is the final part of the uh, install so thank you very much for listening tune into the next part of this uh, series of videos which is how to integrate your instruments